Hi everyone, Alex Umansky, and this video I'm going to discuss the wage and hour laws in New York and what employers and businesses must do to avoid being fined by the Department of Labor, but also uh, to avoid lawsuits from their employees for violations of the wage and hour laws. First and foremost, if you run a business in New York, no matter the size of your workforce, you must provide your employees with notices of their rate of pay, including overtime pay. You must provide uh, your employees with the manner in which they, were, they are going to be paid. Are they paid by the hour? Are they paid a yearly salary? Will, are they paid by the shift? Are they paid every week? Will they be paid bi-weekly or monthly? You must provide the employees with a notice of the uh, address and phone number of the main office and the principal uh, location of the business. If you have employees who speak other languages, you must provide this notice in English and also the language for which the employees speak. And if you have multiple uh, uh, employees who speak various languages, you must provide notices in those languages as well. You must know the minimum wage rates. Minimum wage rate in New York currently is $9 per hour. So any employee who works up to 40 hours per week must get paid at least $9 per hour. If employee is entitled to overtime and they work more than 40 hours per week, you must pay that employee time and a half the $9 per hour, time and a half the minimum wage. So if an employee, a minimum wage employee that you employ works 60 hours per week, for example, you must pay them $9 per hour for the first 40 hours and then $13.50 for the additional 20 hours. Even if you pay your employees more than the minimum wage, say your uh, minimum wage, say your uh, minimum uh, rate of pay for the employees is fifteen dollars per hour, you still must pay time and a half for any hour the employee works above the forty-hour period. You must do that to avoid uh, lawsuits by employees. And if you don't provide the notices that I discussed earlier, you may be subject to penalties and fines from the Department of Labor. Also, the danger runs in if you have not paid your employees, or even if it's one employee, uh, the proper minimum wage or overtime rate, uh, rate pay, for the past six years, they can collect, an employee can collect under the New York labor law for all failure to pay minimum wage and overtime rate pay for the past six years. Under federal law, an employee can collect for the past three years. You must know this and you must adhere to this in the workplace in order to avoid the penalties and the losses that could come with it.